So a guy um, messaged me, and I'll drop his little name down as a reference in the comments below, with a really good question. Can you actually use the iCar Soft to monitor and check for the condition and any issues that you've got with your Vario roof on your Mercedes? I've looked online, I haven't seen any videos, not that I can easily find anyway. All right, it's always good watching that roof go down, isn't it? It's an amazing bit of engineering that. I've done a various few other videos on, on how to use this. You use the thumb wheel here to navigate around. So we're going to go to Diagnostics, let's press enter. And uh, this is a Mercedes SL. Um, it's These are the software versions, by the way. So I've downloaded various updates. And the higher the number, the more recent and the more up-to-date the software. So let's go for the top one, which is 11.85. Going to talk to the ECU and now we're going to choose the SL. So I'm going to go up on the arrow because SL being S is at the bottom and it gets to it a little bit faster. So it is the SL230, which is that one there. Let's go into that. And I know that obviously the year is 2004 for me, so I select that. It's important to select the right year, by the way. Um, because it will be different between var variations on the car that you have. And for me, it's a 230.467. You can find that number by having a look at your chassis, either on the windscreen or down by the side of the door, it will tell you. It's the VIN number. Right, so I'm going to go into manual scan because the smart scan, the difference is um, it, will, it will look for all the things that the iCar Soft can actually uh, work with the car. But I know the uh, area that I need to go to being the roof, so I'm just gonna go straight into it. And it saves a little bit of time. Right, so we're gonna go down and we're gonna find where the Vario roof is uh, shown, and then we're gonna select that. Um, I've done various different videos, so, so have a look uh, uh, down below. Um, some of these might help you. And um, the one in particular though, um, is going to be for the convertible roof, which is called Vario Roof for Mercedes. I'm just trying to find it. Um, here we go. Roll bar Vario Roof Control Module. So let's go into that and let's let's see let's see what this thing can do. Right. So let's start at the top here, module information. Let's go into that, press enter. And what this is gonna tell me is probably the brand, the make, um, maybe the software used. So here we go. Control unit ME20. The supplier is by a company called Temic or Temic. Um, it's got the MB part number there, importantly. Software, hardware, um, so this is good for if you needed to replace any of the uh, hardware components. I really hope you don't need to because it could be um, an expensive bit of work you need to do on your car. Right, I'm going to go into refault codes. Why not? I'm going to see if there's any fault codes and I'm hoping there isn't. Good, that's what we want to see. Lucky there's no fault codes, because it can be a real drama if there is. So we're going to press F1 to go back. And this time, we're going to go into View Data. And this is where I'm hoping to see lots of goodies. All data stream. Select that. Wow, here we go one of 24 things so there looks like to be a checkbox on the left hand side so if you select any of these boxes it's going to run that test um, so you can press f1 to select all so let's try that there we go f1 to select all and then we're going to press f2 to start the check now it's going to run through all of those 24 different things and do a little check and see if there's any issues Right, so it's telling me, is the ignition on? Well, it's not, and I know that because I can tell that the car is not started. 310 volt supply is okay. 
pump temperature it's telling me is okay that's good uh, vehicle speed below shut off threshold yes it'd be lovely to be able to turn that off you can get a module that um, bypasses that but otherwise you just have to keep the speed what is it below about five mile an hour so it's quite slow to process it and that's because I've run the 24 different tests and it's telling me what the um, output is so it's got interesting things here like for example the bottom the luggage compartment lid and rotary tumbler opened so it recognizes it, that's good and if there's an issue then it would actually tell you voltage supply loading assist is okay actuation using diagnosis not active yes position and function of limit switch are okay yes so this is great to be able to go through each of these different ones and see if there's any issues at all and hopefully it will narrow down where you perhaps need to look on the actual car. So going on to sort of halfway through the list now, 11 or 24, vario roof open in end position, not recognised. Now I don't know if that's because I haven't actually um, operated the roof, so it doesn't actually uh, come up with a, um, a diagnosis. But importantly, when I ran the test before I did this, there was no felt codes found. So I'm not too concerned about that. Hydraulic units okay. Um, activation of roll bar, not active. Now, I'm gonna see, here's the roll bar here. If we operate the roll bar, let's see what happens and see if that comes up. So I'm gonna press it now. I was hoping it might give me some live information there, but oh, there we go. Activation or roll bar active. So that just goes to show I've operated the act, I've operated the roll bar, and it came up as active there. So um, that's uh, that's interesting. So you can actually test things live, and I think if I'd selected individually rather than the whole 24 of them, it would be a lot quicker to show you what the status is. So let's keep going down the list and see what other things we can see. Vehicle speed with ignition switch on below threshold value. Um, load assist switch not operated. So these are all things that if you operated it, it would then say yes or active. Ignition on, voltage supply okay, pump temperature okay. And let's see what the last few were. Uh, components that it can check are. And the last uh, few items here are the switch variable roof not operated, yes, limit switch okay, actuation of roll bar not active, yes, and activation using diagnosis not active. So if you've got an issue with the roll bar, my personal um, recommendation would be to select it first rather than selecting everything so if you go back let's go back to the uh, back out of this menu okay so rather than selecting all which I did when I pressed F1 what I would do is go to the area that you want to check so let's say actuation or roll bar not active so let's select that one um, I don't know if I press enter. Yeah, there you go. You can select just the ones that you need. So if I keep going down Okay, so I'm going to select these two. I've selected one a couple of pages back and I'm going to select the actuation of roll bar so there's two there and The rest of it we're not going to check so hopefully it'll be a bit of a quicker um, diagnosis so press F2 to start Okay, so now we've just got those two items that we check the checkboxes and I would personally do it that way systematically. Uh, if you've got an issue with your roof, try and obviously get the items that are most relative that you think could be in relation to the issue that you're having. Uh, actuation roll bar not active, uh, actuation or roll bar not active. So there's two there and it might be that one is when you raise it and one is when you lower it, but either way, it's, I've selected only the items that um, I believe 
uh, are needed and then I would go back and then I would do the next issue and so on and so on so first and foremost I really do hope that you haven't got any issues with your roof these things are fantastic when they work they're an amazing bit of engineering um, I've had an issue once before where I was driving at slow speeds and I went over a bump and it caused one of the sensors to inadvertently engage and I got warning errors on my dashboard and I had about a 300 mile drive and I thought oh great I'm gonna have to drive with the roof down all that way and it was winter however I managed to cycle the roof by it was one of the flaps that folded down and by pressing the button and carefully lifting the flap I managed to get it to go back and close again and then I opened it and closed it and thankfully everything was okay so there's an awful lot of sensors things that have to work and all the computers involved as well so you get one thing and you can throw the whole thing out and hopefully with a bit of help from the iCarsoft you can actually pinpoint what that is so if this is your sort of thing if you get a chance give me a subscribe that'd be really really good and the thumbs up is amazing too but I've also done um, a whole load of other diagnostics for iCarsoft which you're welcome to have a look at and they're, they're just here and here so look I'm gonna stop talking now I hope this has been helpful for you. Until next time, this has been Groove On. Have a great evening.